I love what I do. I mean, there is struggle, just like with anything that you do for a career. There is days where you don't want to do it as much as you did the day before. The thing with me is there's this underlying passion. I have a big sign in our house that says, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. And I love what I do. I do not feel like it's work. I make brooms for 40 hours a week. It's still something I enjoy to do. I still love seeing those brooms, knowing that I had a hand in making that. Or seeing someone walk off with something that you made with your bare hands. It's, it's a feeling like no other. You just don't see a lot of broom makers. There's about 100 left in the United States. I try to teach as many people as I can. I do workshops every every summer and people learn it. If they never do it again, that's fine. But if they do, I mean, that's another person that's carrying on the art. You know, I try to, try to make sure this art doesn't die with me. I'd say a fully functional broom, a good kitchen broom, can last you between six years and 10 years, providing you actually take care of it, you keep it inside, and you keep it hung up when you're not using it. You don't want to stand it on its bristles because you'll actually end up bending the bristles. You'll see those brooms that are all swooped at the bottom. It's because the, the broom horn cannot handle the weight of the handle. So you either want to turn it upside down or you want to hang it up from the leather that we put the top of it. Berea is a special kind of magic. Um, Berea College has this reputation of being handcrafted, high quality arts and crafts. People knowing that a student made this in the pursuit of an education that they typically would not be able to afford is a whole different level. I don't want to say it doesn't matter what the broom looks like, but it adds to it. It's that backstory. When they're sweeping with it or someone asks about it, they can say, hey, this came from Berea College. This was a Appalachian student who made this in the pursuit of a college education. Texture is the thing that gets me because it, it is just like you're taking a bunch of straw and you're bundling it up and putting it on a stick. It's completely done by feel. So ever how much will fit in your fingers, you know that's how much you need for that specific part of the broom. Blind people used to make brooms because you could feel how big the broom was going to be. I like watching the students get better. That's, it's kind of the biggest gratification of the job is actually seeing a student who comes to this college who has possibly never had a job in their entire life or never did anything arts and crafts wise. They learn how to make a broom and they excel at it. They buy into it, they love it, they want to see the shop succeed, they want to see us do new things. They come to me with new ideas or hey, I want to try this. Or when they show their new students you can take a student that you know struggled a couple of years and then they actually teach a new student. That's kind of a good little thing in your hat. You know, you kind of think, hey, I taught that student and they enjoyed enough that they've stayed with me, stuck to it, and got better. And now they're actually teaching more people to do it. So now to be able to make that broom with that tag on it that says Berea College Crafts, you're making something that has a history that is so much richer prestige behind it that it's a piece of, of heritage of this college. It's an honor. <laughs>